Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to be doing the Book Unhauled Challenge. This challenge was created by Lala over on Books and Lala, so I'll leave her original video as well as her channel link down below. But basically this challenge is all about helping you unhaul some books from your bookshelves. It has 10 different questions that kind of help guide you through some like books that you may not need on your shelves anymore, and I definitely need that because I am so running out of shelf space. I'm no stranger to unhauling books. I've filmed like maybe two or three book unhauls in the past, but I do also just unhaul books from time to time because I genuinely just don't have enough room in my room anymore and I have too many books which is the opposite of a problem usually but I'm just genuinely out of space at this point point. and it's definitely time for me to just kind of cleanse my shelves a bit. I also just kind of want to try and like trim my collection down more to books that I'm extremely excited for and the ones that I've just truly truly loved because I just need to like cut back a little bit so that's kind of what my goal is with this video but when I saw Lala do this challenge I just thought it was super creative and very clever and just like something I needed to do so that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> like I said there are 10 questions and I'm just gonna go through each of them and take at least one book off of my shelves for that. The goal is to get at least 10 books off of your shelves with the 10 questions but I really want to do more than that because I really need the space so we're gonna try and go for like two each question. Actually no I'm not gonna reserve it to that because I feel like there are gonna be some where I'll only have one and then others will I want to take off like five so we'll just we'll see what happens. <laughs> I just realized I keep saying they're questions they're not really questions they're just categories but anyway the first category is to unhaul a book that you rated low. Okay for this one I feel like there are a lot of books that I gave pretty low ratings that I've held on to. Like, okay, we have 13 Reasons Why, which I did not like this book. I've talked about it several times. I don't know why I still have it. <laughs> Besides this though, I could get rid of Emergency Contact. I gave that one a pretty low rating, but I haven't like talked about it yet. And I feel like I have more feelings to mull over on that one, so we'll hold on to that for now. Yeah, for this, I think I'm gonna go with 13 Reasons Why. <laughs> the next category is a book you changed your mind about, and I don't know what to choose for this. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten rid of most of the books that I changed my mind about. Like, I just don't have them anymore, like Throat of Glass, and I can't even think of anything else. But, like, Throat of Glass is the first one that comes to mind. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Actually, you know what, for this, I think we're gonna go with The One Memory of Flora Banks. This is one that I read and I did a review for a while ago, and I liked it when I read it, but, like, since reading some reviews, I feel like I like it a little bit less now. And I guess that's kind of like changed my mind about it. And I just don't see myself like rereading this anytime anyway. So this one can go. Okay, the next category is a series you won't be completing. And I feel like this is probably gonna be more like series I don't plan on even starting. <laughs> because I feel like when I start a series and like I don't like it and I know I won't be finishing it, I just get rid of it. But like, let's see. I feel like, I feel like I kind of want to get rid of the bone season. I don't know, this is just a series that I got so long ago and I just don't see myself reading it anymore. And I don't honestly even know what it's about. Like I have no enthusiasm when it comes to it anymore. And I feel like I've heard just like some not so great things about it more recently. So yeah, I feel like I should just, I should just move on from this part with it because I just, I have, I have no like time or energy for this. I feel like there have to be more series though, because like, there definitely are. Also, if you're wondering why I'm wearing like a giant cardigan, it's because it's freezing cold right now. <laughs> like this shelf, I don't want to touch because this is basically like, that's like my favorite shelf. That's my classic shelf. That's my Shadow Hunters. That's just like definitely series I still want and stuff. And those are arcs, which there could be some arcs I could get rid of. We'll wait on that for another question. Oh, you know, another series I don't see myself reading anymore is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Octier. And honestly, also the flame in the mist. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with these two also because I just don't see myself reading either of these. The next category is a book you DNF'd or did not finish. I don't have a single book on my shelf that I didn't finish because I've gotten rid of the only book I've ever DNF'd. <laughs> But there are some books that I have like started, but I just never finish them, not because like I don't plan to finish them in the future, just because I just haven't had the time. So maybe there's one of those. Oh, I think Kids of Appetite by David Arnold. I started this a while ago, but I only read like 15 pages and I just didn't care to keep reading at the time. And also maybe a map for wrecked girls which I also started a long time ago but I just never got around to finishing so like I don't know I didn't DNF these though 
yeah, we're gonna go with these. <laughs> okay, the next category is a book that you have multiple copies of, and I feel like I mostly just have multiple copies of like my favorite books, and I'm not getting rid of those. <laughs> like we all know I have five copies of The Night Circus. I'm not getting rid of any of those. <laughs> but there are a couple books, like there are some that I've been sent duplicate copies of because I've gotten them in like two separate subscription boxes and stuff like that, but I usually just take those off my shelves anyway because I don't want multiple copies of them. Oh, though, there is one book. Yeah, The Hazelwood. <laughs> I have three copies of this book and I already took one of them off of my bookshelves and I feel like I don't need a second one because I haven't even read this yet. This one I may like kind of hold on to for a little while longer, just like put it somewhere else in my room just in case I really do like the book so I can have like two special copies. But for now, I feel like I don't need it taking up more space. Okay, this next one is a book you'll never actually get to and I feel like this is where I've got to be like real honest because there are so many that I'm just never going to have the time to get around to. And it's time for them to just like go because I don't want them to just like sit here unread for so long when someone else could love them. One that immediately comes to mind is Pinball 1973 and Hear the Wind Sing by Murakami. I just don't see myself reading this. I also recently had a friend who read a lot of Murakami and didn't like him. So I just, I don't see myself getting around to this at all anytime soon. Also, Star Climber and Airborne, they're like these two sci-fi books. These are also part of a series, I guess, that I just like, I don't know enough about them. I'm just not super into sci-fi. I don't know why I'm holding on to them. <laughs> the Terranauts by T.C. Boyle, another one I got in a subscription box that I just like don't see happening. Okay, there are a lot for this and my sci-fi shelf has been cleared out, but like The Diabolic, The Hunted, The Takedown. <laughs> yep, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I got a decent stack here. <laughs> I just don't see myself having any time to get around to these. There are so many other books that are like higher priorities for me right now. Okay, the next category is a book you bought because of the hype. The first one that jumps to mind when I think of this is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, but I don't think that like, I want to get rid of that just because I didn't like hate that book. I just didn't love it and I might maybe want to read the sequel. So I'm not going to get rid of that one. Oh, actually, I just thought of another one. <laughs> this is another book that I have like multiple copies of. I got like this second copy of The Shadow of the Wind. I know this has nothing to do with this category, but I just remembered this. I got another copy of The Shadow of the Wind and this is not like the one that I had expected and it came like super damaged. So yeah, I don't need to keep holding on to this. And like, I guess we can just like qualify this as my hyped one. I got rid of a ton for the other ones like I can't think of another hyped book that's on my shelf right now that I just want to get rid of. The next category is a book you bought because of the cover which I am so guilty of. I do this all the time to this day. <laughs> I don't think there are any on my shelf right now that I bought because of the cover that I want to get rid of but there are some that I'm just like holding on to because of the cover but they were all sent to me. The first thing that comes to mind with this is First and Then and Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. <laughs> These are actually books that were both sent to me but I just really, really like the covers and that's honestly why I keep holding on to them, but I just don't see myself reading them. Also, I'm totally running out of space on my contemporary shelf. I have two and I'm afraid I'm gonna have to like go on to a third, which I never thought would happen to me. Like another one I feel like I need to get rid of is The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton because like, I'm not gonna read this. I don't like S.E. Hinton, so why am I holding on to it? This also has nothing to do with the cover, but I'm just like in the zone of unhauling books now, so I'm just like taking them off. <laughs> so these are the three that I'm definitely gonna go with for now. <laughs> this next one feels like a personal call out, but it's a book that you don't know anything about because like, I don't know what a lot of these books are about because I don't read a lot of summaries sometimes because I just like being really surprised. So <laughs> I'm sure I could honestly find like so many on here. <laughs> I feel like most of these are gonna have to be ones that were like sent to me in subscription boxes because I didn't even like personally seek them out so I know less about them. First ones that come to mind honestly are The Sandcastle Empire and Before She Ignites. I got both of these in subscription boxes and honestly, I don't remember what they're about at all. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure this is like a thriller. This is obviously like a fantasy, but I have so many other books to get to, like I just don't see this happening soon. Another one is Everything All at Once by Katrina Leno. This is another one I got in a subscription box from like a long time ago. Don't know what this is about other than it's contemporary. Yeah, I feel like these three are definitely ones that I could say I have no idea what they're about. So I probably shouldn't have them on my shelves for this long. <laughs> okay, and then the last category is a book that you didn't buy, which I think is actually most of these. I've actually bought a decent number of them, never mind. But a lot of them were sent to me. So another one that I did not buy myself. So probably something that was sent to me by the publisher or in a subscription box. Okay, for this, I think I'm gonna go with Given to the Sea by Mindy McGinnis. This is another 
another one that I was sent in a subscription box. I don't remember which one, but it's from a while ago. I was interested in the concept at first, but like now I just have so many other books that all of these are just like too many and I, I don't have all the time for them. So I think this one has to go. All right, so that is it for the unhaul challenge. Those are all of the categories. And now I'm gonna go through and like count these and then show them each to you because I don't know how many there are. My bed is just covered in books. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you can see the stack. I literally have to like hold it with my hand so it doesn't fall over because it's so tall. It comes all the way up to my hip. Um, yeah, these are all the books that I'm unhauling. <laughs> Let's count them and see how many there are. <laughs> 26 books. <laughs> Okay, like, I don't think I can physically hold all of these. My arms are literally not long enough. Um, but we're gonna try and hold some of them for this thumbnail. They're all falling. <laughs> All right, so those are all of the books that I'm unhauling, and now I'm just gonna go through and show them to you all. Like I said, there are 26 books, so I'm not gonna explain why. You already saw my process of taking them off my shelves. I'm just gonna go through and name each title. The Bone Season and The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. The Takedown and The Hunted. Foolish Hearts and First and Then by Emma Mills. The Terranauts, The Diabolic. The One Memory of Flora Banks and Everything All at Once. The Shadow of the Wind, Before She Ignites. Airborne and Star Climber. The Outsiders and 13 Reasons Why. The Sandcastle Empire, Hear the Wind Sing, and Pinball 1973. The Flame in the Mist and The Wrath in the Dawn by Renee Atia. Given to the Sea and The Hearts We Sold. The Hazelwood and Everland. And lastly, Kids of Appetite and A Map for Wrecked Girls. All right, so there you all have it. That is it for my unhaul challenge. This was really, really good for my bookshelves and my mental state, honestly. It's just like getting rid of some like clutter, some books that I don't need anymore that are just taking up space. And it feels really nice to have some more open shelf space that I can rearrange now because my shelves are a mess. I know a lot of people are going to ask what I do with my books once I unhaul them. I donate them or I sell them to a used bookstore but I'm also actually planning a giveaway for a couple of books. Not the ones that are featured in here but some other books that I've unhauled recently just on my own um, that I'm going to be doing for you guys and it's going to be like on Twitter. I'm putting together like a couple like different packages that just have like some books, bookmarks, promotional posters and stuff like that, little items and things that I've gotten that I just do not have the space for. They're all new, all unused. It's just stuff that I don't have any room for and I want to be able to give it to you guys because it shouldn't go to waste. So yeah, I'm going to be doing those like separately. So if you want like some books and stuff that I might be giving away, you can go and check that out on Twitter. It's not up yet but it will be soon-ish, so just go check out over there. But yeah, when it comes to these, I'm just gonna be donating them and that'll be really, really nice just to give these books a new home to people who will definitely get to read and love them. And that's my favorite thing about sharing books. It's great. <laughs> that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you unhaul any of your books from time to time just because you need to free up some space or if you don't like a book, do you immediately take it off of your shelves? I'd love to know your process. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.